Hello, Aries. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I'll send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment if this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. Oh, I got them upside down. What messages is Aries needing to know at this time? There is a King of Cups here and the Two of Wands. Now, in the King of Cups, I'm getting that there's someone... This is someone that you know, and this is someone who has emotionally matured since the last time you've seen this person. This person's like ready to get out their comfort zone and to like they're wanting to explore this connection some more is what I'm getting. Yes, I'm getting like this person reaching out to communicate with you. There's a breakthrough in communication. I really am getting like, this is someone who puts you up on a pedestal. They think very highly of you, whether you're aware of that or not. I'm getting that you're not because with the moon, it looks like this person has hidden a lot of their intentions towards you or their feelings towards you. So, but this is someone who puts you up on a pedestal and they view you, they view you as their dream partner, being their dream partner. This is someone who uh, wishes the best for you. They want to see you do well in life. So I'm getting that there is a lot of love between uh, you and this person, or at least the love this person has for you. What's this person's intentions towards Aries? What are their intentions towards Aries? The Knight of Pentacles. They want to take things slow. They want to slowly but surely move towards a committed relationship. They want to bring healing to this connection. They want you to feel free to be yourself around them as well. They want to... And it's because, like, this person wants to get to know you, the true version of you. You can expect, like, progress. I'm getting, like, some communication from this person that's going to make you extremely happy. A lot of progress, but I'm getting that you'll be extremely happy with the direction this um, relationship is headed towards. What is the advice for Aries regarding this situation? What is the advice for Aries? the hermit and the five of wands i'm getting that you're needing to go within with a hermit here to take a, a deep look within yourself because i'm getting some insecurities here there's like you have a fear of like i'm not even gonna say a fear but i'm getting like this person may get a lot of attention and this may make you feel a little insecure and that's something that they want you to address before this person comes back around Let's see, what is the current blockage or challenge for Aries at this time? What is the current blockage or challenge for Aries at this time? Knight of Swords and the Chariot. Um, you guys can easily become discouraged uh, by something. It's like if you see an obstacle, if you're moving towards something, if you're moving to accomplish something, I'm getting that you guys can easily become discouraged if there is an obstacle that's presented and it's causing you to miss out on some opportunities. Some of you guys, you failed to make a decision um, in a decent amount of time, but there's what I'm getting with um, your blockage or your challenge at this time is not missing out on um, opportunities coming in for you. Going after something, despite how challenging it may seem, the chariot is that energy of overcoming obstacles and accomplishing your goals. The Knight of Wands is like seizing the moment, not allowing the opportunity to pass you by. So I'm getting that some of you guys are needing to chase after your dreams to push your all towards something here. Some of you guys, even when it's love, it's like, even though love has its challenges, it's like someone here may be saying, I'd rather just not even try uh, if I have to worry about, you know, there being, you know, some sort of difficulties. And it's like, if you're being realistic about the situation, then you'll have to say, well, I know there's going to be challenges. There are going to be, you know, difficulties that present themselves, but I can overcome it. And that's the mentality that they're trying to get you to um, take on. What else? What else is Aries needing to know at this time? What else is Aries needing to know at this time? Three of Wands and the Justice. 
So we have growth and expansion here. Success, you being extremely proud of the path that you decided to take. It looks like you have some good karma coming around to you as well with the justice showing up here. Some of you guys may be doing some traveling overseas. I'm getting like difficult times have come to an end. Some of you guys, it's just difficult times in love. And what you're needing to realize is that you change. You're not the same person you used to be when you attracted the people in the past. So you're not attracting the same energy towards you. So it's like those hardships in love, that time is coming to an end. I'm getting you manifesting your wish fulfillment here. Some of you guys, your wish fulfillment is this person from the past. You wanted to get to know this person better. Some of you guys could have been the one to push this person away trigger insecurities within this person as well because you are dealing with your own. Yes, I I see a new beginning for you, Aries. You embracing the unknown, just going with the flow. You are definitely moving towards calmer, uh, calmer waters here. Things are improving in your life or they will be improving shortly if you're not realizing it just yet. Let's get a couple more messages for you guys. Karmic partnership and family. Some of you guys, your karmic partnership is your own family. Some of you guys have not had the best um, relationship with your family. And really, you are meant to learn a lot of lessons from them. Some of you guys, like your family, you may feel like your family has uh, held you back from living out your full potential here. But if that's how you're feeling, then they're asking you to take accountability, accountability for yourself. And what can you do to make the changes you desire to have in your life? Yes, a transformation, a change is taking place. I'm getting, for one, I'm getting that you're attracting someone towards you that's going to be a deeply committed person. They're a family person. This is someone who's extremely loyal. But I'm also getting, it's like you seeing yourself in a different light. You finally like seeing yourself as like the exceptional individual that you actually are. And not comparing yourself to people it's like you're finally beginning to see yourself or who you actually are outside of what you were taught to believe about yourself. I am going to leave it there, Aries. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, you all take care.